Hi, everyone. Welcome to Stars and Pearls. I'm so happy that you found your way here. I hope you click like, subscribe, and share, and that you drop a comment in the comment section below this video and let me know how this goes for you. So let's dive in right away into your week ahead reading. I'll be doing Aries through to Pisces as well as a collective in the beginning in the front. So those of you that watched my video last week, you will have noticed that, yay, you know, some of the um, predictions did come through. And so we'll see what happens this week. And I'm excited. Yeah, let's see. So initially, like um, I felt for this week that it's a little bit quieter this week. It feels like it's a it's more of a planning week. And we're still cleaning up the energies from 2023. We're still allowing that to, to flow out of our systems and out of our um, um, what we're dealing with. So it feels as if things are that pause before things move forward again. I feel a big shift forward and energy push forward around the middle of February. Okay. But before that, not so much anymore. Things are slowing down, laying low, staying quiet um, around the beginning, maybe or after around the 9th of February. I'm not quite sure why I'm saying the 9th, but it, I, I'm seeing that number nine, February 9th is when it feels like things are just going to that rubber band that was pulled back, pulled back, pulled back, and then started shaking around the beginning of the year, it's going to be released and things are going to go take off. Um, it feels intense, to be honest. So let's see what's coming up collectively for the collective in the week ahead. What it is and um, problem solution and outcome. So it feels like, you know, people are still, like I said, we're still carrying stuff from the past 10 of wands in the collective. And so we're still carrying that forward. We're, you know, meant to release it, meant to let it go, but humanity, right? So we're carrying stuff over from last year and still working that through. So things are a little bit quieter this week, collectively speaking. So here we have, we have to make a choice. The, the humanity, we're again at a crossroads, one of the many different little crosswoods we have within the overall flow of time. We've chosen a big timeline and that was done years ago. It's, it was told to me we chose already during the harmonic convergence what timeline we would be on. I have the feeling that timeline has been changed since then for better or for worse. But along the timeline, we have many different little spots where we have choices and we're coming to one of those choices again here. Okay. So the seven of cuffs has to do with making the right choice and not being illusion, not buying into the illusion that is being offered up or served to us. And that illusion, even if we buy into it, what we experience there is meant to teach us to release it and let it go. So here we have the illusions of fame, of money, of greed, of fear, of security, all these things that could be influencing our choices. We see in the Eight of Cups how someone walks away from it all and chooses themselves, chooses their inner guidance, chooses their connection to higher. So will humanity choose the connection to itself or to higher or to its fears and illusions, that remains to be seen. But we're coming up to a crunch point or a point of, um, yeah, trying to figure that out. So here we have the Ace of Wands, and it is heralding a new beginning. This is the energy rush that I'm feeling that is coming up. Let me just turn this heater down because I'm sitting right next to it and it's getting kind of hot. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Okay. So this energy rush that is coming up in the Ace of Wands here, and um, that is coming up towards, like I said, I'm feeling beginning, beginning to mid February, and it just, it just really feels like we're building up to that new beginning. Okay. But there is a choice that is that is being made by humanity, collectively, subconsciously, deep within at this time okay so let's roll on to aries and see what's coming up for aries aries what's coming up for you please aries what's coming up for aries what's the message that aries needs to hear in the week ahead what does aries need to hear in this week ahead aries please what does aries need to hear okay aries 
So Aries, things have been moving kind of slow for you. That's the initial feeling, or you've been perceiving it as moving kind of slow. You may have been feeling um, very at odds and challenged by this stuck energy, five of wands, seven of pentacles, and it has led you possibly to feeling unsure of yourself or where things are headed or what's going to happen for you, because you feel like if it didn't come together immediately and quickly, then it's not going to happen at all. And this is actually meant to help you learn patience, to help you learn to stick things through to help you learn to um endure and i know nobody wants to hear it and i know it's tired and i know we're all over it but it really feels like things are about to break fruit through for you hang in there hang in there aries some of you maybe yeah you're afraid that the breakthrough is going to be a breakdown. So there's some kind of negativity thinking that you have to overcome, Aries. But it's kind of hard because the past has shown you that you can rely on things not working out. And that is not true. It's You need to learn to continue to build in your mind, to build things up, to focus on the positive, to invest in that, to allow your energy to pour into what it is that you want, to focus not on having the problem to find the solution, but to focus on having the solution in your life as a norm and to only focus on this is what I want to experience. This is what I want to live. Okay. Letting it go, letting go of the past is, is um, the devise here, letting go of thinking about, oh, I have this problem. I have to find the solution and just allowing the solution to come into your life. Okay. Let's move on to Taurus. What's the message that you need to hear this week, please? Taurus, what's coming up for Taurus? And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, you may be investing more in your career this week. It may be really just as simple as that, you know, focusing on making the resources happen and come into being that you're needing or that you're requiring, okay? And um, the outcome of this week for you is the Ten of Swords, <laughs> ending something that is no longer serving you. Okay, this may be a week of endings for you as well. So focusing on this new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles, focusing on bringing something into your life that is long lasting, that is stable, that is secure, that is safe, that is true, and releasing things that are, you know, have outdone their, their purpose that no longer serve you, that are no longer um of any, I, I don't want to say of any use to you because that sounds horrible and that's not what I mean, but no longer are fulfilling a ben beneficial role or a good role in your life. Okay. So it's um, this week though, overall, the energy for you, Taurus, is straight building, straight recognizing an opportunity, receiving opportunities, receiving possibilities, doors opening for you, but you still have to do the work. You have to go through, you have to do the work, you have to build things up. Okay, but uh, mainly focusing on career, money, resources, and the like. Okay, so let's dive into Gemini and see what your message is for this week ahead, Gemini. What's coming up for Gemini, please? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. And the overall energy, Gemini, we've got three cards that came out for you. We've got the Page of Pentacles. And you're just, you know, there's something half-hearted happening here. And you have to make the decision to cut it off, okay? To mature, to grow, to make that decision for yourself and not wait for someone else to make the decision for you or a situation to make the decision for you. But to cut things through, cut things off, see things for what they are, cut them off. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for half-hearted investments of others, whether it be in relationship or business. And you'll see that the world opens up to you because you're going to feel free and you're going to feel like you're on the right path. And you're going to be feeling free to make the decisions that are good for you and put yourself into the situations that are good for you and healing to you. Now, some of you may have been investing in a situation and you're feeling like, you know what, no matter what I do, I can't do things right. No matter what I do, things don't work out. So it's time to cut myself loose. It's time for me to stop investing in this. And that might be the very well the right choice for you because if you're trying and trying and trying and trying and it's not working out and you've done your best and it's been a while and you keep trying, I'm not feeling like sometimes we have to endure and persevere, but sometimes we have to know when to fold them. We have to know when to cut something loose. We have to know when it's time to walk away because clearly it's showing us that this is not meant for us. This is not our pathway forward. And I feel like that point has come for you, Gemini, it's time for you to just 
I look for something a little lighter, okay? Moving on to Cancer. Cancer, what's your message this week, please? What is the message for Cancer this coming week? And we've got the Nine of Cups. Awesome. Wish fulfillment, something coming through for you, someone bringing something to you, receiving news, messages, gifts, or even just a kiss, something that is really... um beautiful for you okay cancer it feels like it's this beautiful week queen of swords um it pays some of you yeah it's paid off it's paid off to be ruthlessly you some um some of you have made the choice already in the past and now that is coming to fruition for you this choice that you made possibly even years ago for some of you to walk away from something or someone and maybe you've been struggling since then and things have been hard, but it feels like this week your wishes are finally going to come through. Now, the thing is, um, Cancer, as I'm picking that up, is to not let your a tough exterior, because some of you have been showing the world that I can do it on my own. I don't need anybody. Don't let your tough exterior become the real you. Don't let it get to your heart. Stay soft, stay flexible, stay um, generous, stay kind, stay open. Don't let it get to you. Be very, very mindful of your heart. Guard your heart. Take care of your heart. And not in a way that makes it harder. Okay? No. No. But don't allow certain thoughts in, don't allow certain energies in, be mindful of the company that you keep, the conversations that you have, and allow yourself to be flexible and um, open-hearted, And and um, but be mindful that you're in a safe space to do so, be mindful of your surroundings, okay? Alrighty, but otherwise it feels like a great energy week for you. Moving on to Leo. Leo, what's coming up for you? What is the message for you this week? We've got the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands has to do with messages. So there's maybe a long awaited message that is coming your way. This could be an SMS. This could be a text. This could be an email. This could be a letter, but it just feels like some kind of news is reaching you that you've been waiting for a while for. You've been waiting, waiting to hear this. Also, someone is offering you something, but it could feel like they're not really sure how to approach you in a mature way. It could be that they're feeling like, um, yeah, yeah, it just feels like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we have the, the page of cups. Okay, you may be dealing with either children or someone who is significantly younger than you, Leo, and they're very unsure of themselves around you. So you've just got to, you know, be patient, be mindful, be charmed if you want to be. But it feels like they're really trying their hardest to, to meet you on your level, but it may be a little bit difficult for them. Someone may also be giving you a... Um, you know, doing the best that they can and offering you something, but you're feeling like, because you're used to so much more, like, oh, this is all they're offering. This is it. This is all they have to give. And meanwhile, they're giving you everything that they have. So be gentle, Leo, right? But also be honest and be be very um, honest to yourself if this is going to be enough for you moving forward. If it's not, you need to release this person as well, okay? Okay. And we've got the Six of Pentacles, karma coming around full circle for you this week, or you being able to observe someone's karma playing out. Moving on to Virgo, what's coming up for you, Virgo, this week? What is your message for the week ahead? And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. It's all about the money, honey. So Virgo is really focusing on their finances. They're focusing on having enough and feeling enough, feeling worthy. Um, this seems to be another topic that is coming up for Virgo this week. They may be dealing with family issues, longstanding issues, longstanding issues around money as well. Something coming through for them. Some of you may be dealing with an inheritance um, or a lot of money coming through for you this week. Okay. You've also got the four of swords. So this has been a difficult time that you're just coming out of. And, but the lessons that you've learned have been to remain calm, to have faith, to trust, even during difficult and hard times. So that's what's coming up for you. Moving onward, um, not difficult and hard times, but like you living what you've learned and through that, reaping the harvest of abundance, of getting your goals met. Let's see here. Ah, uh, Libra. What's coming up for Libra, please? Oh, Libra. 
Libra, the chariot, okay? Libra, it feels like things are in on the go and on the move here. And it's time for you to be on the move or be on the go. Um, this is about finding your own path in life, doing things your own way as well, and not necessarily having accompaniment or support to carry you through. Okay. So it, it feels as if, you know, this is, it, it can be an isolating experience and again, be mindful, similar to cancer, not to, to, because this is the cancer card, actually not to, um, armor up too heavily and become unapproachable or anything like that. It feels like there's a new adventure around the corner. There are new people that are waiting to meet you. You've got places to go, things to do, people to meet, and don't be afraid to do that. Go your own way. Do your own thing with the chariot. Focus, um, the focus is on yourself this week. Okay. Then we've got the Knight of Pentacles that is coming up. Yeah. So it, it it feels heavy though, you know, it feels it feels very heavy and it feels like you're kind of you're you're not wanting to go on this adventure, Libra. You're wanting to go the tried and true or the the regular pathway you've been going down with the Knight of Pentacles. But it feels like this chariot is leading you to the Knight of Pentacles, who will be a new figure in your life. This can be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person. Okay. So um Keep it up. Things are going to work out and you're going to get stability in, in, in a short amount of time. Moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio, what's coming up for you this week? What's your message in the week ahead? Scorpio, what's your message for the week ahead? And we've got the Knight of Swords. So be mindful, okay? Something's going to be triggering you, setting you off. You can see this red cloak like being flashed in front of the bull, but also someone grabbing the sword and just galloping off. So something may run away with you or run amok. It also may be uh, a week where things pass quickly, not necessarily easily, but quickly, quickly blowing over, having, you know, slight difficulties in your work slight delays or irritations or frustrations, but this all quickly passing. This week is going to fly by for you, Scorpio. You may also be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you may have that in your chart. I lied to you. You've got the two of swords, indecision. Um, I feel like this week runs on autopilot for you and just goes by super fast, okay? You're unable to make a choice this week or come to a clear decision what it is that you want in a specific situation. So you're just running by it with blinders on, ignoring it, and this week flies by, okay? But the decision doesn't leave. It remains. And it feels like, yeah, you'll be dealing with that in a while. But this week is not yet the week for you to, to make that decision. Um, you're still waiting for more time, more information, more certainty. Okay. All right. Moving onwards to Sagittarius. Sag, what's coming up for you? Sagittarius, please. Sag, what is it that Sag needs to know? Sag is focused on their work. Eight of Pentacles, diving deep into their studies, um, working like a machine. They can also be focused on their health this week. There may be health topics that have to do with... Um, you may need to drink more water, Sagittarius. That's what I'm hearing. You, it may be good for you as well to go swimming or do anything that's connected to the water, being around water. Um, but overall, I'm feeling that um, you're you're working hard. Some of you, again, are working hard in your health, retaining your health, building your health, um, doing healthy things, eating healthy foods. Uh, we've also got the King of Pentacles, which has to do with healing and health. So that's what I'm picking up is a big focus on health here. Some of you are also working towards something long term, something that is, especially when it comes to relationships, you're looking to settle down, to commit or to Take, make moves that reflect your commitment. So that could be the purchase of a house, moving in together with someone, um, deciding to have a child with someone, having a child with someone. But it feels like this is definitely setting the the um, the rails for a solid future with a in, within a committed space. Okay, so things are uh, moving forward on that front. Next up. Capricorn, what's coming up for Capricorn, please? Capricorn, what's the message for Capis? And we've also got the Ten of Pentacles. I think this was with Virgo as well. So Capricorn, you may be dealing with Virgo. 
And you've got the Ten of Swords here as well. Capricorn, you may be concerned about, you know, your family inheritances. Yes, um, big amounts of money. There may be some concern around a big bill payment or big large amounts of money. But know that you've got this. Know that um, you can make whatever you're concerned about, you can meet it. And that things will um, happen for you surprisingly and unexpectedly. Um, let's see here. We've got the magician. There you go. You know, you've got the magician. You can make it work. You can make it happen. Um, things are going to come together. You have the know-how, you have the energy, you have the skills, you have the support, um, from the universe and it will come to you. And the 10 of swords also has to do with unexpected endings. So that's another thing like sudden unexpected endings. So it could be something that has been weighing on you for quite some time. This may have been something that you inherited as well, coming to a sudden and unexpected end. That may be very well be here, but it feels like it's doing so of your own accord. You're going to find a solution. You're going to be able to find a way out of this. Um, finding your own power is a topic this week as well. Making decisions for your own legacy is is going to be on the table for you as well this week aquarius what's your message please aquarius and the week ahead aquarius we've got the eight of cups queen of swords aquarius is deciding to walk away from something leave something behind their decisiveness is um can be off-putting to others, and that's perfectly okay. You're not here to please the world. You're here to ensure that your soul has the experience that it came in here for. And so sometimes that means walking away from someone or something, making a decision that this is, you know, not my pathway. This is not the pathway I'm meant to go down or meant to experience. Packing your bags and getting on your own orbit, staying on your own lane, returning to your own lane. Maybe you've moved lanes so far over that things are starting to crumble, like your energy. That's what I'm picking up, Aquarius, okay? So you may be feeling excessively tired. You may be feeling exhausted. You may be feeling like, I don't know why I'm, you know, getting like this, this week. And um, it, that it, we lose energy when we're not on our own pathway. So have a look around Aquarius and see where you're doing things for everybody else, which is fine and fair enough. And we have to do that in life sometimes, but you have to find that balance. You have to come back to your center. You have to um, find your pathway again and, and move forward on that. You may be dealing with another Aquarius or Gemini or Libra, another air sign, but the solution to your problems this week is a, is a cool clear headedness we were giving a brain for a reason and this is your week to use it aquarius um don't be shy in 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 thinking things through and then making your decision on that i don't feel like this is the week to just follow your gut and just go with your emotions your emotions are also easily um hijacked by other things, right? And easily influenced and triggered by other things. That's why it's so easy to do that with marketing, you know? So this whole new age, follow your um, emotions thing. I, I never was a fan of that. Um, follow your gut feeling. Yes, absolutely. But for that, you'd have to discern what your gut feeling is and what is a coping mechanism. And that takes work, time and effort and interest. So um, in the meantime, <laughs> Um, don't hesitate to think things through and go at things in a logical, analytical way and really add things up, um, subtract some things and then make your decision and move forward. Okay. And Pisces, what is your message for this week? What is your message for this week, please? What is the message for Pisces this week? Pisces, what is the message for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to hear? And we've got the two of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Yeah, some things, you know, like um, things are in flux and in movement and planning for you, Pisces. This is a week where you make plans possibly with others as well. And you start the initial steps of moving forward and taking action on those plans. You're not going to see the outcome of the plans right away. We live in an instant gratification society. So I realize that this might be a little bit disappointing to hear. 
but um, it's, it's, you know, it's a week. How much do we usually get done in a week? This week is going to fly by for you as well. But it feels as if you're in flux somehow, Pisces, and um, something hasn't quite settled on this side or that side of the fence. Um, you're drawing up plans. You're, you, as you move through your situation, you're planning each step as you go. You're not drawing up a full plan and then moving through the plan. It's like you take a step, make a plan, take a step, make a plan, take a step, make a plan. And um, again, through conversations with friends, family, or people that are close to you, whom you trust, and who are invested in you. And um, one of the things I feel for this week very strongly for you, Pisces, is that you're really going to realize that you are not alone. Some of you, Pisces, have been going through a life believing that you're alone, thinking that you've, you've got to figure this all out by yourself. You've got to do this all by yourself. You've got to make it happen all by yourself. But you're going to find out this week, nope, I'm not alone. There are people that are do have my best interest at heart. You know, of course, they have their own lives and their own problems and their own issues, and they're doing things for themselves too. But when they have a minute and they're talking to me, they're they're invested in me. They feel good about me. They make me feel good about me. <laughs> and um, hopefully I can make them feel good about them, you know? So you're going to find that um, there's going to be some kind of an experience this week where spirit is able to show you, look, I know you exist. I know you're there. I've got you. And I'm working through these people in your life. And you'll meet your angels. Okay. Here we have the nine of pentacles. And that's your outcome is a self-confidence and strength and self-esteem and feeling rooted and like you've found your place in the world, like you've found your place in your own life. So it's a good moment for you, Pisces. I take it and run with it. Okay. And um, this will give you a stronger basis for those of you that are thinking about a relationship. It feels like if you have someone in their life, they not, you know, when it comes to romance, they may not be quite sure about committing with you just yet. There's something that they're juggling. They might be telling you, you know, I've got to focus on my career, which would be the truth. That is what I'm picking up. It's, But some of you, there may be someone else in the mix as well that is being juggled. Okay, so be very wary, be mindful full here Pisces and um, I don't feel like I said like this week the commitment is going to come through 100% but it might next week but it's on the table okay so this may also be someone that you've just met right and so you're still weighing you know is this someone that I want to continue to experience and explore where this will take me or not and yeah keep it light keep it light keep it light keep your feet light okay all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to explore your own personal roots and your own personal possibilities and opportunities and your pathways through life, don't hesitate to contact me. My links are in the description box below this video. I am more than happy to work with you and excited to meet you. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Follow me on other, you know, social media as well over on Instagram and on TikTok. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>